Hey friends, welcome back to another video or welcome if this is your first video of mine that you are ever watching. We are gonna be cleaning my whole entire house today. I have a lot of cleaning motivation coming your way, so I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna jump right on in, but first, I wanted to tell you guys that this is a collaboration with Grizel here on YouTube and I'm going to have her video and her channel linked in the description box for you guys. But as you can see, she has an absolutely beautiful home and she does all sorts of videos. I know you guys are going to love. If you are here watching my video, you're definitely going to love Grizel's videos. She does tons of cleaning and organizing, DIYs, and all sorts of homemaking and lifestyle videos. So definitely be sure to check out her her cleaning video when you are done watching mine but let's go ahead and jump right on in we are gonna start off cleaning my bathroom so first I am just clearing everything off of the counters here in my bathroom putting things back where they belong I tend to have a clean counter and then I use a bunch of stuff and then it ends up accumulating on my countertop so every once in a while I have to go through and put everything back where it needs to go. I'm going to get everything wiped down, the countertops, the sinks, the faucets, the mirrors, and get everything dusted down and all clean. Today I'm just using my Jaws window cleaner and a paper towel to clean the mirror here in the bathroom. Now I'm just taking some of the Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner and I'm gonna spray that down. I think I was using the Mum scent from the fall collection, but I'm just gonna wipe down the counters and the sinks with that. I wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. I got a couple of these really big scrub brushes from Walmart, and they have been coming in very handy for scrubbing out sinks and the shower. Now moving on over to the toilet area, I'm just gonna empty out the trash can here next to the toilet in our bathroom. Then I'm gonna be using this Clorox foamer spray to spray down the toilet and let that sit for a minute. I'm also spraying the floor around the toilet and then I'm gonna use my Clorox wand to clean the inside of the bowl. Now I do have some cleaning gloves somewhere and I cannot find them so I need to pick up a new pair of those but for today I just had to go glove free and I'm just using one of my white cleaning rags. I do wash all of these on the sanitized setting on my washing machine after I am done using them so I am going to just wipe everything down and then be sure to wash my hands since I wasn't able to wear my gloves but I am getting on Amazon right now as I'm doing this voiceover and I'm ordering a new pair of cleaning gloves. Now we are headed into my bedroom and we are gonna first get my bed made. And we did recently get a new duvet cover and a new down comforter for our bed and it is so comfortable. I wish I would have gotten bedding like this a long time ago because I have been sleeping so much better 
And then I also wanted to mention that I am going to link my Highland Cow picture in the description box for you guys. I linked it whenever I got it and I filmed that day, but I have not put it in the description of any of the other videos and I thought I did. So I will put that in the description for you guys. But now we're going to move on to dusting. So I have these little Swiffer dusters that I got from Costco in a big giant pack and I've been using them pretty much every day on all sorts of different surfaces in the house, but they definitely come in really handy. So I'm just going to dust off my nightstand here and my lamp those get really dusty and then also my plant over here in the corner this is a monstera i am going to dust him off because his leaves were looking a little dusty also oh, don't try. and now i'm just going to go in with the mrs meyer spray and wipe down the nightstand as well this stuff smells so good it makes the whole room smell amazing I'm also going to use that Swiffer duster and dust off the top of my bed and then I will move on to the nightstand on the other side of the bed and do the same thing. Now I'm just getting my Cricut heat press put away. I think it's called an easy press, but it's by Cricut. And I made a shirt the other day with some vinyl and I used that and it was still sitting out. So I'm just gonna get that stuff put away and then get this cube shelf dusted off and sprayed down and wiped down as well as the windowsill and the top of the window over here. I had some more Cricut supplies out on my dresser, so I'm gonna get those put away, and then I'm gonna move everything on my dresser and get all of this dusted down and wiped down also. And I'm just using that Jaws glass cleaner to wipe down the mirror here above my dresser. And then I'm also going to wipe down my full body mirror over there on the wall with the same stuff. And while I was wiping down the mirrors, I noticed that the doors were super dusty, so I'm taking one of those Swiffer dusters and wiping the little ledges down on the doors. Also, it was super dusty behind the door. I was actually kind of shocked at how dusty it was, but our house just gets really dusty, and I need to get a new filter for our air purifier that we have. It's just sitting out in the garage right now, so I need to order a new filter because I think having that running in the house will definitely help with the dust. Now moving over to the other side of my room, I am just going to clear off my desk a little bit and get it kind of picked up. It was pretty cluttered and I'm just going to wipe it down with that Mrs. Myers spray. I have some clothes sitting here on the ground that I had just gone through the previous day and you guys saw that in my last video. If you watched my last um, declutter and organize video, I went through all of my dresser drawers. So I had a big pile of clothes here that I needed to photograph and post on Poshmark. So I just moved those over to a basket on the other side of my room. There were some things on Donnie's dresser that needed to be put away and I'm just gonna wipe everything down on his dresser also. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words, it 
It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. And while I was wiping everything down on this side of the room, I noticed that the TV was looking pretty dusty, so I just took the glass cleaner and I'm gonna wipe that down with a paper towel. I'm also gonna use that same glass cleaner and wipe down the sliding glass doors here in my bedroom. And now I have a few shirts that I need to get put on hangers and get those hung up in my closet. Now that everything is picked up and wiped down, I'm going to run the vacuum here in my bathroom. I'm also going to vacuum my bedroom, but today I am using my LG Cord Zero cordless vacuum. And as you can see, there was some makeup on the floor right there. I did end up going in with a rag and some cleaning product and just wiping that up because I had just mopped, I think two days before this, so I didn't need to do a full mop, but I know you guys probably saw that there. I did go in and wipe that up, just didn't get it on film. But I am gonna go through my bedroom and vacuum in here also. And um, I get asked about my vacuums all the time. I have a few different vacuums. I have a cordless Shark Ion F80 that I absolutely love. And then I also have this LG Cord Zero that is a really great vacuum. And I think they both have different pros and cons. So I use both of them. Um, obviously I don't film cleaning my house every day or vacuuming my house every day, but I do use both of those. And then I also have an upright shark vacuum that I love for like a super deep clean. You just can't beat a upright vacuum. So I do have all my vacuums linked in the description box for you guys. And I do like them all equally. My robot vacuum there on the ground was even a little dusty. So I stuck the vacuum on the top of that and vacuumed it off. So I'm just giving you a little overview of my picked up and cleaned up bedroom looking so much better and my bathroom. And now I'm gonna give you a little overview of the living room and how messy and unorganized this space is. And then also Berkeley's room was a little bit messy, not too terrible and she is definitely gonna help me pick up and then I'm just showing you the entryway here and the boys room. So while I am working on cleaning up the main living space of the house, the boys are gonna be making their beds and clearing off their desks and picking up their room. Berkeley's helping me clean up out here. We had a lot of stuff just out on the table and things that needed to be put back where they belong. And I had a Target bag here on the table full of snacks and stuff that we had taken to a baseball game the previous day. So we are gonna work on getting all of this stuff cleaned up and the kids Kids are also going to work on picking up their rooms. Before you told me, try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again, again, again. I'm just using that same Mrs. Meyers mum spray to wipe down my dining table and if you have been around for a while then you know all about my dining table and my buffet but they have both been in my family for about a hundred years and I refinished the buffet and the table 
when we lived in our previous house. So about three, four years ago, I refinished those. Um, and I am gonna be refinishing the top of the table. Again, I'm gonna really sand it down really good and stain it a very dark stain. Um, I just haven't had time yet. I did recently buy a sander to be able to do that and I have all the supplies needed. I might be able to get it done this weekend um, because we don't have any other plans besides a couple of baseball games. We've just been so busy the last few weekends since I got my sander and all the supplies. I have not had time to work on that project, but I will be filming that for you guys. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to do that this weekend. But anyways, moving on to the living room, I'm just using my Swiffer duster to dust everything down, the TV, the TV stand, the plant, and everything that needed a good dusting. And then I'm also going to wipe down at the TV. I just know things will never be the same like strangers While I was at it, I decided to go ahead and wipe down the sliding glass door here in the living room. This door gets so dirty, like every day I probably need to wipe this down, but that's just unrealistic. So I try to do it like once a week, but our black lab goes in and out of this door with his nose on there and you know how dog nose prints get. And then three kids go in and out the sliding glass door all day long too, especially now that the weather is nicer. So it is constantly dirty. So I'm getting all of that wiped down. And just a little clip showing you guys Berkeley picking up her room while I was vacuuming. So I am just gonna run the vacuum in here. Once I'm done vacuuming in the living room, I am going to move over to the dining room and get this whole area vacuumed. And as you guys heard me talking about just a couple of minutes ago, I was talking about refinishing the top of this table. So I can't wait to hopefully work on that this weekend. I also have been talking about ordering a rug for this dining room. Um, I need to look, I think about it all the time whenever I'm cleaning in here or walking through, I'm like, oh, I really need to find a rug for in here. And I think I wanna do like a jute style um, you know, like the tan woven looking style rug in here, but I just, I haven't committed yet. I think I wanna do something solid just because the living room rug is a pattern and they're right next to each other. So I need to get on and look for one of those. I looked at Target the other day, but they didn't have anything big enough. So I think I need to look online and just figure out which one I wanna get and place that order. So we will see whenever that happens, but we are gonna move on to Berkeley's room now. She was working on picking up some of the stuff herself while I was cleaning up the living room and vacuuming in there, but I'm gonna help her finish getting things more organized and then we are going to make her bed. Just watch me
right, once Berkeley's bed was made, she saw this little spot on her table that had some marker stain on it, so she got the spray, sprayed it down, and she insisted on cleaning it up herself. I thought that was pretty cute. And now I'm just gonna run the vacuum in her room. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down All right, moving on to the hallway, making our way through the house. I am going to get everybody's shoes put back where they need to go and get things a little bit more organized. I had some packages here by the front door that need to go drop, be dropped off at the post office and I'm just hanging up purses and backpacks and getting everything put back where it needs to go. And Berkeley is just at the age right now where she wants to help me do absolutely everything. So I think it's adorable and she loves helping mom. So I definitely let her help as much as possible. So she was helping put some stuff away and I am just going to run the vacuum in the hallway. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the boys cleaned up their room, so all I had to do was come in and spray down their desks and wipe everything down and then run the vacuum in their room. Now headed into the kids' bathroom, I'm just gonna use my Jaws glass cleaner to wipe down their mirror, and then I'm gonna use that same Mrs. Meyers spray to wipe down their countertop and their sinks and just get everything cleaned up. And now for their toilet, same thing as in my bathroom. I'm using that Clorox bleach foamer cleaner and then I'm gonna use my Clorox wand for inside the bowl.
Now that everything is sparkly clean in the bathroom, I am going to vacuum in here. So now headed back out to the hallway, I am just spraying down the chalkboard. I'm gonna get this all cleaned off. I do this probably, I don't know, once a week or so to give the kids a clean slate. And now for the kitchen. I had lunch out on the counter from the kids that needed to be tossed and a whole bunch of stuff that just needed to be put away and picked up. And then I'm going to unload the dishwasher and load the dishwasher now. Now I'm just taking some Dawn Power Wash. I'm gonna spray that in the sink and then use my scrub brush to scrub out the sink. And now I am taking my Jaws Granite Cleaner and I'm gonna spray down the island here and wipe that down. And then I'm also going to wipe down all of the other counters with that same Jaws Granite Cleaner. You're a bad choice that I made five years ago at some party in New York. Are you texting me to tell me that I'm shit? Why are you still going on about things I never did? Maybe you can't see that I'm hard to hold. I know I'm a basket case you think should be alone But I still have my friends don't want you All I need is them don't want you I can barely sleep cause of you But I still have my friends don't want you You're a nightmare Reminding me of who I am I feel scared sometimes Why'd you leave me be?
Now the last thing I'm going to do is run the vacuum in here and that is going to wrap up this video. So you guys definitely be sure to click on that little arrow and open up the description box and click on Grizel's video so you can go get some more cleaning motivation and make sure you guys subscribe to her channel. Like I said, she has awesome content that I know you guys are absolutely going to love. But thank you so much for being here. If you came from Grizel's channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. Look at how much I picked up with this vacuum on just this one day of filming this cleaning video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy these types of videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.